But I manage my um, hypothyroidism with levothyroxine and sodium. I've taken it since I was born and the dose I'm on now is the right dose for me. So I take 187.5 micrograms every day. And that is, as far as it goes, that is the treatment for uh, hypothyroidism. And what I'd say to people with hypothyroidism is make sure you take your medication every day and as far as away from any food as possible would be my recommendation because that works for me. Um, and you know if, if you do miss a dose it's important to take it as soon as you can because that is the thing that's keeping you well and even if you might not have symptoms for a few days it's still important to have it as soon as possible daily according to the dose that your GP or endocrinologist has given you. When I was first diagnosed, I was put on block and replace treatment, uh, which is what they call when they give you um, a drug called carbimazole, um, which stops your thyroid doing anything, so it stops producing thyroxine. Um, and then they gave me the right amount of thyroxine to keep my levels um, where they were in tablet form as well. Um, so to begin with, I think I was taking something like 11 tablets, um, which slowly whittled down um, over two or three years. Um, and then last summer they gave me the option of definitive treatment, uh, which is what they called it. Um, so either to have my thyroid taken out in surgery um, or to have this radioactive iodine treatment. Um, and I think to begin with I was quite keen on um, thinking about surgery because with the radioactive iodine treatment it's not a certain that it will work. Um, and I would have to have another dose. And if you have two days, doses and it doesn't work, um, you then have to have surgery anyway. Um, so I, I, to begin with, I was quite keen on that. Um, but actually when I discussed it with my family um, and we talked it through um, what surgery would mean um, and then actually how um, radioactive iodine would work um, quite a bit better in terms of um, um, my summer plans and in terms of um, being around family and friends, um, I think we found the logical idea would be radioactive iodine, um, which I think was a good idea. Um, so I think if, if you can have the radioactive iodine treatment instead of the surgery, I think it's a, a, a much less invasive process, um, which is what I found. Um, and then uh, taking the radioactive iodine um, was quite strange. They gave it to me in a lead-lined box, um, which was quite scary. So um, obviously having anything radioactive was quite scary. Um, which I then just had to swallow the pill inside it um, and then wait half an hour to make sure that everything was fine. Um, and then I could just go home. Um, and for a few weeks I had to be careful, so no going near children, um, no going near um, pregnant ladies um, or animals, because they're quite susceptible to those levels of um, radioactivity. Um, so I found that really difficult, a lot harder than I thought I would. So that was about three weeks, um, that process. Um, and then about two or three weeks later, I started getting symptoms um, of hypothyroidism, um, which meant that it had worked. Um, and I had a blood test and they checked it and um, they confirmed that my thyroid was stopping producing thyroxine, um, which is what the treatment was meant to do. Um, and so I'd started feeling things like feeling cold and lethargic and putting on weight. Um, which was a good sign because it meant that treatment had worked um, and then they could put me back on thyroxine um, and work on getting my levels where they should be.